Diamond Seekers, we're coming to you this evening from Liberty University right here in Lynchburg, Virginia. We have a special guest with us this evening. We had Donna Barr. He reached out to us on Facebook and said he would like to meet us and have a meal and get on a video with us. So Donna Barr suggested us coming to Liberty University and check out the Reber Thomas Dining Hall. This is a state-of-the-art dining hall on college campuses in the United States. Never have been here before, and I've heard some things about it, but just found it recently. This is open to the public, so we decided we'd meet here tonight, try dinner out, and we're going to see what all they have. Let's go check this place out. Let's do it. This is what the Reber Thomas Dining Hall looks like. This is located on Liberty University's campus. This is a huge dining hall. It was set up to 2,700 people with seating inside and out. As you enter into the Reber Thomas Dining Hall, this is what it looks like. You see all the food stations located throughout. And you'll notice all the seating area over here on this side. And it's more seating on this side. Here is a look at the prices for the Reber Thomas Dining Center. And these prices are including tax. As soon as you walk in the door, the first station that I saw was the 360 grill. And you see this is where they prepare the food at. And then we have the chopsticks station. You see they had some food already ready to go. And they have a sushi station. You'll notice the beverages is located right there. And at this time of day, some of the stations are not open. Like the omelet bar, this is more for breakfast time. And we pan around, you see they have a little Italy shop. And then there's pizza, wellness, and a rotisserie. Here we have the bake station. This has got some baked goods. You see some cookies. We have some brownies. And one of them is a butterscotch brownie. But that would be good. And then we come around. S'mores bread pudding. Chocolate chip cookies. We have some cherry pie. Lemon Jello. They have soft served ice cream machines, low fat vanilla, chocolate. Here we have the pizza station. Let's take a look at some of the pizzas they have. The chef's table. Rotisserie, the smoke, the comfort kitchen. The international fusion. In the comfort kitchen, they have maple and peach glazed ham today. They have some potatoes, Brussels sprouts. This is what the plates look like. This station is called the Allergen Friendly.
In this area, you'll find the fruits and yogurts. We have a low-fat vanilla, a strawberry. Then this is a non-plain Greek yogurt. Different types of toppings, low-fat cottage cheese, banana chips, chocolate chips, some coconuts. You'll find some honeydew and cantaloupe chunks. And here's different types of salad dressings, a balsamic vinaigrette, Caesar dressing, Italian, a honey mustard, Thousand Island, and a ranch. Let's take a look at the soup, salad, and sides. Looks like maybe a tomato soup. And they have the romaine lettuce, the spring mix, and your regular iceberg lettuce. Baby spinach, cherry tomatoes, your carrots, cucumbers, and red onions. Then you have your mushrooms, your green peppers, black olives, your jalapeno peppers, some kidney beans. Sunflower seeds, ham, cheeses, bacon, and your croutons. And here's a look at your drink station. You have Coca-Cola products. They have Minute Maid juices, soy milk and almond milk, regular milk, and another Coke machine. And here's a deli. You can get yourself a sandwich made. I've noticed on the sign they have a ham and cheddar kaiser. Here we have the Mexican cantina. In this area, we call breads and spreads. Get you some bread and toast it. They got the toasters right there. The 360 grill, you can get yourself a hot dog. They have some tater tots. And this area would be the smash burger. The cookout zone is next. And located right beside the cookout zone, we have the bistro. Also, they have a cereal and waffle station. The Reaver Thomas Dining Center is a two-story, 120,000 square foot, all-you-care-to-eat buffet that boasts a seating capacity of more than 2,700 seats. That's outdoors and indoors, and 27 different stations with a variety of food options. You'll notice that this is all downstairs. It's mostly seating. They do have a drink station. But all the food is located up on the second floor. I thought I'd start out with the salad. They have an amazing salad bar up there. Lots of fresh items. Looks so good. I started there. And it does look like a very fresh looking salad, Cindy. It? it is. Everything nice and fresh and green. And for my first plate, I decided to try some of the Asian food at the Chopsticks Station. Got some new white rice and I've got some of these noodles and then also went by the pizza place and I got a slice of pizza pepperoni and some sausage and Donovan tell us what you ended up getting on your first plate all right so my first place I decided to start off with um, the Mexican cantina I got in here buried some rice chicken beef lettuce cheese black beans some salsa and then had a little chips on the side so it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go back over there, probably get myself a slice of pizza and some pasta and definitely some like um, honey glazed ham Damn, it is yes. and some Lyonese potatoes. But that Mexican food, it does look really nice. Mm -hmm. Everything looks nice and fresh. You may have to visit the cantina, David. I think I will. Yeah. And Carly, she started out with some of the chopsticks just like I did. She got her some rice and some of those Chinese noodles. You've already tried it, Carly. What do you think? Very good. 
right, David, you've had a chance to try it out. What are you thinking so far? Well, everything I've had so far, I've really enjoyed it. The rice is good. I really enjoyed this uh, Chinese dish. I don't know what the correct name of it is, but it had the noodles. Is it like chow mein noodles? It has some of these like sh snap peas in it. And I love these things. These are delicious. And the pizza has been good. I've eaten some of that. Um, you can see it's got crust on it. Just like your normal pizza you get somewhere. Nothing fancy, but it does have a good taste to it. It looks like really good pizza for college campus. It is. And just the whole campus, I've been impressed with this, you know. A lot of food to uh, select from. A lot of them are closed today because we're here on a Sunday afternoon, but I can only imagine with everything being up and going at one time, all the food choices that you would have. But being a Sunday afternoon, there's still a lot of places that are serving food today, and there's a lot of choices. Why don't you tell how we made it here today, how that came about? Well, the way we got here today, we had a, a message sent to us on a Facebook post. And um, our buddy here we met today wanted to be uh, in a video with us. So he was telling us about the college, the Reba Thomas Dining Hall. So, And we've been wanting to try this yes. because this is a new facility. Yes, we've been wanting to come and come to find out. We just found out not too long ago about it. And it's open to the public. Anybody can come in just like we did today. You come in here and eat your food, and then when you get finished, you pay as you come in, you, and when you get ready to leave, you just walk out the door. You've already paid for it, but it's unlimited. You go around to many stations, get, get as much food as you like. You just won't have an amazing guide like we had today. That's correct. <laughs> All right, what did you get? What did you think about it? Yeah, yeah so, um, yeah, so in my plate, I have uh, the chicken, rice, beef, and rice. Oh, chicken, sorry, chicken, beef, rice, black beans, cheese, lettuce, salsa, and chips. It's pretty good you know like I said it's my main source for protein you know let's say days I go to the gym like today you know it's a great post-workout meal and you know, I really enjoy it every single time doesn't disappoint at all and you know my side piece that I you know definitely one of the side pieces that I like to get are, are the, um, fruit and yogurts right behind me I think I like to you know get something like a little smooth like such as that sweet just like you know brush everything down and, you know, I was really yeah. impressed with how many healthy options they had. Oh, here. yes. Lots of healthy options. All right, Donovan, you went back and got you some more food. Tell me what all you got this time, bud. All right, well, this time I got the uh, glazed honey ham, lionese potatoes, if I'm saying that right, and some Brussels sprouts. And then on this plate right here, got myself the Hawaiian pizza, which consists of the cheese and the marinara sauce underneath and ham and pineapple. In my opinion, I think pineapple belongs on pizza. You know, I agree it, it, with you. I like pineapple on my pizza yes. as well. That is a big debate with a lot of folks whether to put pineapple on a pizza or not. But I'm like you. I agree it belongs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, one other thing. If you leave this place hungry, it's your own fault. Exactly. Snooze you lose. That's right. <laughs> okay, Cindy, you went back and got you another plate. What did you get this time? David, I got a cheeseburger and I got a few tater tots. And let me tell you, these tater tots are perfect. Tater tots got to be crunchy, in my opinion, to be good, and these are crunchy. So you like those tater tots? Mm -hmm. Now the burger, this just looks like a typical burger that you would find in a cafeteria. Let's see how it tastes. I would say it's just an average burger. You know, nothing outstanding, but nothing bad either. I would definitely, you know, get a burger if I was here in the mood for a burger to eat one. Yeah, I saw them when they was cooking them. It mm -hmm. looked, looked just like a ro uh, regular frozen patty right. that you would get somewhere like Sam's Club or somewhere. But, but you they're know, cooking them fresh right there on the grill. They are definitely you. cooked fresh. I saw them cooking them. Here is a look at our receipt from the Reber Thomas Dining Hall. For all three of us to eat tonight, the total came up to be thirty-eight sixty-six. Cindy, what did you think about your dining experience tonight here at the Reber Thomas Dining Hall on Liberty University campus? David, I was just so impressed. I couldn't believe how big this place was. All the variety they had. Loved all the options. It was beautiful inside. I also like that they have outside dining, too, if you want to sit outside and eat. Just an amazing facility. You'll definitely find something you like. I thought the food was great. Great company. Just a good time. 
Well, I would like to start out. First of all, it was a pleasure to meet you tonight, Donna Ball. Pleasure to meet you too. I'm glad you reached out to us. It's always nice to meet a former brother in Christ. And um, certainly I did enjoy the fellowship time we had tonight and the food I had. I thought everything was good. One thing about coming to this dining hall, there are 27 different dining stations. Not all of them, all of them were open this evening, but a lot of them were open. So many choices. If you go away from here, this is your own fault. <laughs> I, if you leave hunger, it's definitely your own fault. I enjoyed what I had tonight. Some of my favorites. I really did enjoy that ice cream machine they had. So many different flavors you can uh, select from. The chopsticks, I thought that was good. I enjoyed that um, Chinese noodles with the vegetables. I thought that was a great dish. Also, the um, Mexican section, they had a, a right large amount of Mexican food available. I thought that was good. I got a dish fixed up and I saw some other things I liked, but I was getting kind of full. But um, everything I had, it was amazing. I, I very much enjoyed it tonight. And like I mentioned earlier, it, it is open to the public, which somebody that doesn't attend school here, y'all still come in and eat. So if you're in Lynchburg, Virginia, you want uh, come to a, like a buffet-style place to get you a, a meal at a very reasonable price, I recommend stopping by the Reaper Thomas Dining Hall. I thoroughly enjoyed my visit. What would you like to say about your food tonight, Donovan? I said my food was pretty good pretty good you know i had the mexican cantina that was good good source of protein they had um uh, was it glazed honey ham with brussels sprouts and lionese potatoes that was good too I had a slice of hawaiian pizza you know i believe you know pineapples belong on pizza i'm sorry absolutely, all you haters absolutely yes absolutely and then i finished the night off with um bola fruit and yogurt okay. all right carly what did you think about your food this evening show I loved it. The noodles and then the rice I got, it was so good. I got another plate of it. Um, highly recommend this place. Like, honestly, couldn't get anything better. So many options. Like, there was too many options, really. And I was like, uh, too many. Um, I'll just go back to the other because I like it. So, you know, what? tons of options tons of options and when you come inside this is a uh, two level building the, the main foods up on the upstairs when you walk in and then you go downstairs they got a huge dining room sitting area down there so there's no shortage of tables plus you can go outside and sit we read that this place can hold up to 2700 people inside and outside so plenty of room to sit at to enjoy your food again i recommend coming here trying the food out if you're in lynchburg virginia it was definitely a very reasonable price i thought and I really did enjoy it. Well, Carla, tell us, viewers, what to do now, Shovel. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest, greatest videos. Next time, thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you, know, everyone. Thank you. And I want to say I want to give a shout out to you know family, friends, and especially my guys at work. Go ESMM and give, like I said, subscribe to Virginia Fun Seekers. You heard, Donovan. Y'all yeah. do that. Listen to mm -hmm. him. Thank y'all for watching. And God <laughs> bless you. everyone. Bye bye.